Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Deceptive Lab, and welcome to the weekly live stream. This is your boy, Freeze, coming to you today with uh, some of the latest news in Transformers Earth Wars. So today, we're going to take a look at... We're going to take a look at one last look at the new weapons. Now, if you guys are already seeing the video that I made uh, regarding the weapons, and, you know, we talked about it a little bit live, uh, last live stream. So we'll just take a last look, um, make sure everything is good. I got a couple of requests for bots to put it on and stuff like that. So looking forward to that and also looking forward to what I saw on Discord today. And that's that there's going to be a new legacy batch coming out at some point. And so today is the beginning of the voting for that legacy batch. And I already saw plenty of chatter, um, you know, in the chat about which bots um, should be picked, which ones shouldn't be picked. Right now, I think it is right now. Well, not, not that I think it's right now Cosmos and mind wipe are actually leading so we'll talk about that we'll see what i think i haven't voted yet uh maybe you guys can maybe you guys can sway my vote today so um definitely going to talk a lot about that um but before we do let's go take a look at this week's newsletter and we'll see what's going on for the week all right so this week the event is called Dark Design. It is week one of the second half of the saga. Man, I really like that artwork they made for this event, too. I was actually going to, before they said it was going to be a vote, I was actually going to use uh, that artwork. But then I was like, ah, you know, I used uh, Optimus and Megatron artwork last week. and But that's dope. I really like that a lot. Might make that a background on my computer or something. So, let's see. All right, so this week's event, and I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to talk about it real quick, but I'm going to come back to this because there was a lot of discussion that I had on my Discord server about this uh, earlier today and um, overall earlier in the week. And... Um, there's some good and there's some bad that comes with this, right? So we're going to talk about that a little bit. But we'll get through the newsletter first before we talk about it. Uh, let's see. So we got the four-star Primer Star um, Primer star Saber or Dark Star Saber is the top prize for the event. Um, you also are going to have 2K five-star combat shards. That's nice. 200K premium combat chips. Also equally nice. 650K combat spark. So, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. Everything I'm going across the line so far. Uh, 300K Spark, 600K 4-star, I mean, um, excuse me, 6, 6K 4-star Shards, 12K 3-star Shards, and 100K Premium Shards. So, the 50K is always nice, man. It's always got good prizes. It's got stuff that you just need to try to collect. Um, I'm trying to work on... A couple of combat, so I could definitely use the spark and the chips. And there goes your prize chart. Looking pretty good. And like we said, that all caps off with at 50k, you can get the four-star weapon, which we'll show here again in a little bit. You got your typical battle zones. All right, and we'll take a look at some of the game updates and information. And yes, Terra, it is an individual event. So let's see. So game updates and information. So the tournament is starting to come to a close. Um, G1 and Prime are going to be facing off for the Unicron, Unicron final. And man, honestly, man, we had to face off against uh, G1 in the last round. Um, dude, it was tough. This Unicron League is no joke. I mean, you talking about me as a player that usually gets about 300 points. You know, I'm scraping around at 225, 210, something like that, you know, for a lot of those battles. And, man, it's tough. So, um, we're actually in the prime bracket final, which is going to be for third place. 
uh, where we're facing off against Canada East. And I already got some drops in that. They actually had some bases that I would consider stronger than some of the bases in Sat Ops. But um, Sat Ops, their commander base was insane, dude. Like, even on even trying to attack that one on green. So uh, it's been really interesting for the tournament. Um, yeah, so good luck to Prime and Sat Ops and... You know, obviously, good luck to us in the Horde and uh, Canada East as we go through the last rounds of the tournament. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so as you could tell from my thumbnail, Legacy Bats 3 is on the way sometime soon. And so it started, you know, it started off in November with the nose cone and drill horn thing. And uh, then went into Huffer and Lockdown. And it, it's been a lot of fun, man. Like, honestly, the Legacy Batch has been one of my favorite projects to work in. And since I've been joined Playtest, it's, uh, it's an amazing project. And it's a well-deserved project just because it allows some of the older bots to just get some love and get some attention and try to become better um, and usable in the game. And so we're going to talk about that a lot today. But... The bots that are being considered right now, and there is a live Discord um, vote, so and it's going to end next week. So it's going to end um, Tuesday, next Tuesday, uh, 1500, um, and that's um, Brit, British summertime. So make sure you get your vote in this week. But I got Cliff Jumper and Kickback. Cosmos and Wine and Mind Wipe, which Cosmos and Mind Wipe are leading by quite a bit right now. Uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. Hound Vamp and Hound, uh, well, Sound Wave Hiss is what it's supposed to say. Uh, Light Speed and Iron Bison kill Bison because Terror is watching. Uh, Power Glide and Cyclonus, Streetwise and Center Twin and storm clash and viper and so if you haven't already go into the chat and let me know either who you plan to vote for or who you voted for already it is it, it's 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 a toss-up for me well it's not really a toss-up for those of you who are on my discord server um and if you that'll be a good time to try to pitch that if you hadn't joined my discord server uh the link is in the about section of my channel and it's in the bios of every channel so if you haven't already join it but um we were talking about it and <laughs> i got a two bots that i actually want to win it and i started thinking about it harder a little bit later and i was i don't know there could be a bunch of different implications anytime you try to go do one especially if the one of these bots winds up becoming a five star so we'll talk about that a little bit later too all right, so they were saying they were having some problems where Alliance HQ um, was getting stuck. And so that is supposed to have a fix for that in the next week or so. This week or later or next week. Cyberpass skin. So let's check it out. Dog. So we got the new skin. So it's going to be the Power Links Red Alert or the Legacy Voyager Armada Star Scream skins. All right, so, you know, I know a lot of you actually look forward to it when you start talking about these. I actually like the Decepticon skin this time. That is pressure. That is dope. So, yeah, I actually like that skin. I like the, I like the Con skin better this time, so that's good. So, looking forward to that. I'll make sure I get that skin. All right, so 27 seasons of Cyber Pass so far, man. Like, it's crazy how fast that flies by. But then that's the chart for it. And as always, make sure you check out your content creators. So that'll be Engineer Horse, your boy Freezius Max, Soldier, and Sanshrika Waza as well. And we're taking a look at the soccer schedule, man. And the thing that st sticks out to me about the soccer schedule is there have been four consecutive. It's been a month worth of individual events. And so... And this will be the fifth week of indiv of an individual event, and there's some controversy that comes along with um, some controversy that comes along with that. We'll talk about that in a bit. 
So then we're going to have the combined event of event coming up for 500k, which I always like those the five, uh, prime shards event, which we already talked about in the last live stream about the prime cores coming out. So everybody should be looking forward to it, uh, whether you need offensive prime cores or if you've been playing for a while and you need defensive prime cores, uh, that'll become a factor as well. And then there will be the endurance event which I still do not have any information about that bot. So hopefully that will be coming soon and we can start some testing and uh, really take a look at that. I just, I'm, I want to, I want a jet. <laughs> I, I want a jet for the endurance bot. So hopefully that's the case. Uh, but I want to hear what you guys think too. So let me know what you want for the endurance event what kind of what bot class do you want for the end what bots do you want as the endurance bot let me know in the chat community corner we got some cool artwork from uh kettlefish it looks like and he got the g1 so you got yeah you got knockout pretty cool And we got some bug fixes and improvements going on. So Braun and Full Tilt. And I mentioned this in the stream last week because they forgot to put it into the newsletter. But Braun and Full Tilt, the ability is going to bounce to the correct targets. You should see that tomorrow. Uh, Ruin Nation got Neptune. Both of these combiners will now receive their damage uh, increase from the Titan perk. So that's crazy that it wasn't even doing that. Because it was already plenty. It was already plenty strong without it. Yeah, and I say I got my neighbor's dog and then the scepter dog out there barking or whatever, so bear with me. <laughs> I'm used to it now, so I just actually can just kind of talk through it. So we got Beach Coma and Deluge. Um, they were, and I talked about this last week as well, but they had both bots were targeting minions. Uh, so that's going to be fixed as well as um, co properly using properly using combats and while in the outpost so i'm looking forward to that to see how that goes i actually got deluge in my outpost right now so i'm really looking forward to it and so they want to clarify on the hq because they made a change a couple of weeks back and basically any additional damage you can do to the hq that's not going to work so uh for example they gave glass gas uh, they were saying the fire damage. Now, not fire damage itself, but the additional damage you get for co combining it with acid. Um, that's not going to work on the HQ. And um, they said you can use damage amplification. It increases your bot's DPS ability damage. Uh, although the ability will still be reduced since that has always been a thing. And, yeah, so you always had damage reduction for the HQ. In addition to if you're using that shield core, then that's going to protect protect from damage a little bit as well and if you got questions concerns complaints space ape is going to be streaming tomorrow so make sure you go check that out uh, on twitch youtube or facebook and that is the news for this week so let's go ahead and take a look at the chat and see who we got. And I do know Chris Harmon was first. So a uh, good friend of mine and moderator. And one of my earliest members. Thank you for joining Chris. And uh, he reminded me that. Since we're going to be looking at. <laughs> since we're going to be looking at this new weapon. He want, he um we, were, we chat. We chat pretty much every day. And he was saying that he want to take a look at T2. So I got you Chris. We'll take a look at that. Uh, when we go look at the new weapon. Uh, after that, we got Kristen Jones. Thanks for joining again, Kristen. Uh, one of my good friends and my very first member, Joker. Thanks for joining, Joker. My good friend, fellow content creator, moderator, wears every he can wear more hats than I got. Big Blade two nine seven. Uh, thanks for joining, Blade. My Alliance family mate, Candy Man, another uh, another member of mine for a little bit, and. He'd been saying this for a while, so I got to put this out there that um, he wants Cyclonus to win the vote. 
So I definitely know you've been saying that for a little bit. So uh, we'll see what happens, man. You know, we, let's see if if he can uh, work in there and get mind wiping Cosmos out of there. Let's see. E Rods is with us again. Thanks for joining E Rods. Another good friend, fellow content creator, and one of my moderators, Mercenary Terror, another man with many hats. Uh, thanks for joining. And he said that, and so we, we know that he loved Kill Bison. We know that he loved Center Twin. Uh, so he was pumped to see Center Twin as a part of this vote. So glad to hear that too. Man, I'll be honest with you. Those two are the guys that I actually would really, really love to see in the batch. But I was saying in the chat earlier, I'm actually afraid that people don't love slow down and speed up abilities in this game. They are so underrated, so undervalued. And my fear is that they change them away from using one of those kind of abilities once we get it in play test. And it will, and what usually happens, we get really, really, really close to something that we really enjoy. And at the last second, it just... It's like, nah, we're not doing that. And I'd be like, man, that was it was so close. So hopefully that's not the case. I mean, it would take for people to vote for him anyway, but we'll talk about what it, I feel like it is it takes to make a good vote, and we'll take it from there. All right, let's see who else we got. We got Andrew Stevenson is with us. You know, it was morning time over there where he's in his part of the world. So thanks for joining Andrew, starting the day with us. Uh, Lou Mega is with us again. Thanks for joining Lou. We got Michael Cooper and highly classified with us again. Thanks for joining, guys. Nemesis Enforcer is with us again as well. Thanks for joining. We got Philip Martin. No, man, you are not late, man. We just was in there reading newsletter and everything. Thanks for joining, Philip. Alpha Tryon 1 is with us again. And Alpha Tryon 1 says that he's going to do probably about 40K. Not going for the 50K. Nothing wrong with that. That's that's the beauty of the individual event, to be honest. So, uh, But thanks for joining, bro. Let's see, my playtest friend, King Grimlock, is with us to, again today. Thanks for joining, KG. And, uh, yeah, remind, friendly reminder, yeah, this is a big combat spark weekend. Definitely looking forward to that. Um, always in need, right, just because, just because, you know, you're only using a handful of combats, especially when you're in the top leagues like we are. But, yeah, man, like... Um, I always look forward to that, and I'm probably going to, I don't got, for once, I don't have anything planned this weekend, so I'll probably just hit the event pretty hard, maybe get it done by, I, I might not rush through it, I might get it done by like Saturday, something like that. And LJ Gav, hitting us from Ireland, thanks for joining again, LJ. And we'll finally get to go have that call we were talking about tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Let's see. Let me make sure I don't miss anyone. All right. So we got Berserk. Thanks for joining us, Berserk. We got Swoop is with us again. Thanks for joining us, Swoop. And if I think I got everybody. If if I didn't, just go ahead and shoot a tag to me at the chat. That'll make sure it'll turn bright red for me so I can go see it. But I actually want to look through some of these comments because it's a lot of people talking about uh, this event. And there's a lot of people talking about this uh, vote. So let's see. Mercenary Terry says, I want the light cyclonus. I just uh I just can't. He's talking about in the lore and in the game. Damn. Just <laughs> all right. Let's see. 
Highly Classified says, why put a bot in a five-star batch when they suck already? So here's the thing, man. And let's actually flip over to the battlefield real quick so we can take a look at that. Because one of the things that I want to look at is I want to look at what we've already done. All right, so let's see. I got that sorted by class right now. I have no room no logical reason why so some of the bots we got man like we wind up getting bots i'm actually gonna go to his uh stat screen but like we were talking last week about how we got barricade and how we also got drift i mean that turned out pretty well and now I, mean, I think that was a bot that a lot of people was like hey man he kind of sucks and <laughs> We saw last week, especially when we were messing around with some of the combat pairings and stuff like that, uh, how good it can be. And then, you know, now I won't say in top leagues you're not using, like, Huffer and Lockdown, but I definitely like what they do now at this point. <laughs> especially that heal beam. The heal beam is what sold it for me. And I actually, I actually need to, I need to level mines up because I've been slacking, especially with all these five weeks of individual events, man. I've been slacking hard. But um, you know, I mean, it turned out pretty good. And then one of my complaints is that we have not been. The part of the problem that we've been having is we, um. It, 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 the legacy batch project is not supposed to be like a top league. Hey, this is going to be the dude that's going to kill you in wars type. It ain't been that kind of project. And, um, the more and more I think about it, the more I'm, I'm like, shit, why not? You might as well. I mean, you, you're going into these events and they're making new five stars and you're doing 70 K in these events. If you want to actually get the butt. And I was like, why not let, that new five star be a war bot. I'd be all for that because at the end of the day you're still doing the work and you're still paying the cash to go get it. So why not? So you know then so we had that and yeah man I said it's it's been pretty good so far. It's been so I've been pretty happy with the legacy batch project so far. Uh, a couple people, so a lot of people actually saying Cyclonus. And I think, so what is it with Cyclonus for you guys? Is it, I feel like, is it because Cyclonus you feel like just needs the, wow, I just moved my whole screen over for some reason. All right, let me fix that real quick. <laughs> so what is it about Cyclonus and Power Glide that you guys want? Is it just because, and I, I, I suspect I know what the answer is because I made a video shoot it's probably been a couple of years ago now and it was like is Cyclonus really that horrible and everybody instantly was like yes <laughs> so is it just that you just want the bot to be better and maybe maybe they make one of these air class bots into that air class bot that I actually been looking for for the last couple of months because you know I, I want one for the endurance event um, some, maybe it would be nice to have an air class bot when it because I mean and we had this conversation in play tests I think it was last week uh yeah I was talking about it on stream last week so it was last week um people aren't using them as much as they were at one point so let's see big blade says I want to I really want a good substitute for rook or block so an RC Nightbird Legacy would be sick. And I think it would make them more comparable just because the health is a little bit lower for uh, RC and Nightbird compared to Rot, um, Blot and Rook. And a lot of people just like, man, I just, they don't like them, even though those small differences, um, they can be good or bad. Most of the time I say that those small differences are big differences, but I think in this case, uh, when we got Blot and Rook, that was the, probably the small difference. Kind of worked in that direction and making them better. So, Candyman says Cyclonus is one of the few good things in season three of the cartoon. 
Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of support for, particularly relating to the lore for Cyclonus. That's good. Let's see, Big Blade says he probably do about 37 and a half K. Alpha Tryon one says all trash bots. And that's why I say I think that the big thing is, is what are they going to do? What, I, what I'll say is this, is that when you're looking at these, uh, these legacy batch bots, when you're looking at those, Honestly, the sky is kind of the limit, and I was saying that earlier today in my Discord server. The sky really is the limit for these guys, man, just because, um, you know, Space Apes want to try just, it's a, it's a playground when you're working with there, and, it, and it's so open-minded, and it's the complete opposite of what play test is like normally when we're looking at these things, and so you're just like, hey, let's just do this concept, and it's completely different, and you know, it winds up being pretty cool, so definitely looking forward to that. <laughs> Yo, Candyman tripped me out. He says, time for his obligatory five-star sort of balance post. So, <laughs> to go along with that, um, and I mentioned it last week. I actually misspoke miss last week. And one of my good friends, uh, True Donator, actually corrected me on it. So we got three different weapons that we're going to have in the game. So we should be seeing that. We should be seeing that sort of balance in the batch soon. We should be seeing that sort of balance in the batch with uh, with the other, the other two weapons. And it'll be in a batch by itself. And if you want to go pull that five-star sort of balance because you didn't want to pay $150 for it in the online store, it'll be available to you. It should be available to you sometime next month as Space Apis sticks with the plan that they were originally planning. So I don't want that, though, because I didn't get the five-star malice. You know, he used the last one in the batch, and then I had to move on to trying to get all those five-star combiner pieces. But um, I want to go get the five-star Sword of Balance. Or not Sword of Balance, Cosmic Rust Blaster. That's what I want, the five-star five Cosmic Rust Blaster. And possibly this Dark Star and Prime Star Saber, but I don't, really, I don't really use the Hollow Walk like that anymore, but it still would be good regardless. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Let's see. So, yep, Michael, um, Space Ape stream is tomorrow. Mercenary Terror is still advocating for Jaguar. Another vote for um, Cyclonus from LJ Gav. Nice. All right, we're going to talk about that later, Candyman, because Viper... So, Sky Warp is good as he is. He won't need a full-on rework. Viper does what he does, but I say I don't think what he does is good enough. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Another good point, and I'll come back to that, LJ. It said no Rampage, unfortunately. Uh, Mercenary Terry says, why was my Cicada Con leveled so high? Do I got something planned? Um, no. So, this is my test server. Um, I do owe, um, I believe it was, it was a Grim Studios that asked me for a Cicada Con video. And I, I already made the video. I just haven't finished editing it yet. Uh, so, it's it's leveled all the way up for a Cicada Con video that I've already got built that I need to get off my lazy behind and actually just uh I need to get off my lazy behind and actually just edit the video so that I can produce it this week. So yeah, that's what I got him I got him maxed all the way out uh for testing purposes. But he's dude he's kinda he's kinda beastly, bro. I will say that and I, I, I acknowledge that in the video. Uh I'll probably release it this weekend. But um yeah that's that's why I got them leveled up so high. Uh... 
<laughs> Daniel Evans jumped in and said, Power Glad needs a girlfriend. Uh, thanks for joining, by the way. Dude, there's a lot of talk about it, man. Like, so, like, does everybody just really like Legacy Batch? I see there's a lot of chatter about Legacy Batch today, so that's dope. Nah, and I see, um, <laughs> I see Chris in the chat advocating for, he said 150 for five stars in that bat. Um, so here's the thing, man. When I look at things that we get, and so I wish I would have saved the graphic that, um, I think it was Big Blade that shared in Discord yesterday because I'm, I'm looking at the values on some of the stuff we get, right? So when I go in here and I look at, Let's see. I go in there and I go get a bot, right? So who's the last bot in the Endurance Beach Coma and Deluge? Right? So I go in there and I go get Deluge. And he's great. You know, he's on defense. I've seen some people using him on offense. And I look at the money that I spend on an event. So for me... The way that I, and I probably could use less money if I was going to keep it a band with you if I wanted to, if I did the event slower than what I currently do. But I spend about a hundred bucks to get the luge, right? So you mean to tell me that this is equal to the same thing as. Uh, and I'm going to the power cores. I need to go to the combat bot. You mean to tell me that that's worth the same price as that for a bot that's not even on my war team? Now, I understand. Like, they added a whole bunch of extra stuff, and I think I covered this on the stream whenever this came to be. But I think that Space Ape is starting to overvalue some of these pieces in the stores just a, just a little tiny bit, man. Like... And I know some players that was like, hey, if they would have charged $100 for it, they would have bought it. I wouldn't. You know, even if Malice was still one of my war bots, I still wouldn't spend $100 for that. And it's a very, very, very good weapon specifically for him. Um, but yeah, it's to use on one bot. Dude, I mean, as much as I love the Cosmic Rust Blaster, I probably wouldn't have spent 100 or $150 on it. So you're telling me there's some of the values and like as a matter of fact let's go back to that newsletter real quick because that's that's actually one of the things i was going to talk about so when you look at these events and you look at the fact that we had a month straight of individual events low-key space a probably lost some money on those because people can decide not to play individual events because they play all the other events so hard right but then one of the conversations that came up was this, is this week's event. And it really has to do more with that weapon, that four-star weapon. The four-star weapon is a 50K event. <laughs> but you, when you go do a four-star bot that you're probably going to use more of, that's only 37.5K compared to the 50K it takes you to get the four star weapon and they've done that for the last two the last two combat events because they did it for interax and fire glide as well and it i understand both sides it's gonna piss the free to play off because you go from having chance crystals and yeah you know that's cool um i do think that it has some negative impacts on the economy when you do chance events because some people are just like, look, I'm not pressed about it that much, you know, and that's more from the top player side. Uh, but then you're also going to have some people who get the bot or get the um, combat or the weapon right away. And then they're not going to play the game the rest of the, the rest of the weekend. So where's the balance in point there? King Grimlock said, see, everybody always want to, I always try to be like a really nice guy. 
I always try to be like a just really nice about everything. And people always call me out on it. King, King Grimlock says they're starting to overvalue their stuff. And I can totally uh, see the tone that you're taking with that. Yeah, they're starting to overvalue their stuff a little bit, man. Alpha Tryon 1 says he'd like to see me and Waza switch accounts for a week. Dude, that would be interesting as I don't know what, man, because as great a player as we both are, um, we got some we got some really, really different ways uh, of playing the game. So I'm not convinced that I'm not convinced I could play with his account. I mean I probably could. He got he got pieces or whatever. But his style is like almost the complete opposite of mine, so which is cool because whenever we make those popular uh, opinion, unpopular opinions videos, uh, that comes out a lot, right? You know, so yeah, that would that would be that would be dope, though. <laughs> All right, so Chris wanted me to run T two on the with the saber, and let's see how that works out because for me. T2, typically, he can rush ahead a little bit. So, for me, I, I have been actually used Baru on him a lot. But I am curious how this works out. So I'm going to drop my team. I actually want to zoom in a little bit because, okay, so the hologram, that speed, because I, I requested him, and I just I was saying this last week, I was requesting him for the speed to increase. Um, this is the thing that kind of messes me up because now the more I look at it, because the hologram does um, some damage and he actually uses the same animations as Megatron. He, uh, he fires, you know, from his arm cannon and it, and it does slow him down. He catches back up because his speed increases, but I'm just looking at, I'm just looking at what he does, and I was like, if it wasn't for that animation, he would be in front the whole time. And I also just noticed something just now that I didn't notice before, and I was like, I think that when he, I think he can actually get shielded by run him up. And if that's the case, that's pretty dope. I mean, I imagine that'd be the case. I probably could, I probably could use the same thing with a cutthroat and kind of shield that hologram. Which is important because for sub for a survivability standpoint, he you know, he can um from a survivability standpoint, he's not gonna be able to produce multiple holograms like you could do with um like Fangtron and Shieldron. So I think it becomes I think it becomes a important thing if you can protect the hologram. I'm going to check it out again. So I'm going to stick bludgeon out. I'm going to stick run amok out. And I'm going to stick T2 out. And so the first thing I need to do is take out that build bot if I'm going to try to do this test. All right, so I just want to see if it's going to continue under that shield. Yeah, he shielded. Well, I mean, he was until he ran into the FFD. So you do have ways. So one question that I did get asked by one of my teammates over the course of the week is uh, so he asked me if I could heal the 
the hologram and the answer to that was for it looked like to me like I couldn't now I kept you know the game does get cluttered I didn't see any healing numbers go over there but All right, Big Blade said play it back again because he wanted to see the damage on the building. Not a problem, buddy. I'll isolate it this time so it'll be a little bit easier to see. But to your point, Chris, it does work well with T2. Um, I think it can work well with anybody that can carry him, to be honest, because it's a hologram. It's going to help you protect your team. And so when I start looking at abilities to protect the team that's one of the things that i always consider is abilities that work for an entire team so we can isolate them a little bit we'll go in and uh now he does a little bit of damage up here you know we just in prime zone so you know it might not do as much damage in like a top war or something like that but you know, pop a couple outposts, you know, do a, a little bit of additional damage. I mean, all damage is good damage for the most part. And look at the distraction. And this is what Chris was talking about. Look at the distraction that created. Now, granted, if it distracts them and taunts them too much, then... You know, you run into some issues uh, with them dying and stuff like that. But, like, especially with, you know, I started seeing a lot more front-loaded bases in the Unicron League tournament and stuff like that. And, you know, it worked out. It works out well when you get something that can kind of distract, even if it's only for a few seconds, because it could only take you a few seconds to die. You know what I mean? So, but, yeah, if you hadn't seen it all... Uh, over the last two weeks, this is what the Primer Star Saber tool tip looks like. I'm going to take a look in the chat real quick. <laughs> they still talking about if me and Waza switched accounts. He's like, Mirage Jake could pull my five stars for me. Man, Mirage Jake, Mirage Jake be pulling some stuff, man. He, be, he always had them good pulls, though, so I wouldn't mind that as a perk. <laughs> Yeah, but, um, Big Blade says this combat's going to be sick on defense. Yes, I mean, it's not going to be bad at all, especially depending on who you put it on. So, yeah, I mean, I think, and this might just be me, I might go in there and put it, this combat on my um, Deluge, Deluge and Beachcomber. I might try something like that because the because the stats are so high for the lose. And I already got my deluge up to captain too. I'll probably max him out this weekend. I think I got him at level sixty five right now or something like that. But um you know, you start looking at a dude and he's got like seventy K health or some shit like that. You know, and well, yeah, because I got Alpha Try on him right now because I was trying something, experimenting on the uh, play test. So he's over 70K in health. So you means you're going to have a hologram with 100% of his ability. So he's going to be over 70K health. Then you have two outposts, essentially, with 70K health. So, yeah. All right. So I want to take a look at some of the bots that we got for the Legacy Batch. And it's tough, man. It's tough to make picks like that, man, because they are different things that I look at. And we're going to talk about some of those things because, to be honest with you, 
I've been starting to kind of look at a cheat code for <laughs> these legacy batches as they put them out. And I started thinking about getting the the five star combiner pieces into the legacy batch. Um, and then you can just go pull them easily by hitting the event. And, you know, I've been playing the big events lately. So I've been hitting the 50k. And I've been hitting last time I hit the individual endurance and the regular endurance. So usually I hit those events. I'm be honest with you though. I don't do shit else the rest of the time when it comes to events. Uh, because they've been doing so many individual. You know, I always want to make sure my team is good. So I'll do my alliance events. I'll do like the bare minimum for it. But dog, I ain't been doing that shit. I just ain't, you know. It's just and I've been doing it for like six, seven years. Yeah, well, about six years. I, I came in after, about two years after the game was already out. And so, I mean, I'm just saying, man, like, if you're trying to play catch up, yeah, by all means, hit every event. I'm not trying to catch up. I'm just, like, right now, I'm playing with house money. I'm playing with bots that I want to see just maybe one day be, be usable in my war teams so I just level them up and I'm not in a rush for any of that you know alright so let's see we got the we'll stick him in there go to air class and go swing around and get Cyclonus man Dude, just look at that. Now, look at all the other, and this is what I was talking about. Look at all the five stars that I got there, right? And then go look at just how few of them they are compared to some of the other, compared to some of the other classes. Now, I mean, healer's not going to have as many. You look at all these special classes. I got three, four, the four rows, five rows of special class bots. <laughs> And these are my jets, you know, and this is on my test account. So I got it like all the five stars on the test account. And these are my jets. It's time for them. It's time for us to get another jet There's an endurance bot. And I would really, really enjoy that very much. So space ape, if you're watching, make it happen. But Uh, I got a question in the chat that says, what's my opinion in Blue Streak? I think Blue Streak, Blue Streak's great. <laughs> I think that for, like, Blue Streak and, um, damn, I, I spend so much time speaking Autobot, I forgot who ours is, Wild Rider. Um, I think they're great. That charge-up ability was one of the things, I, I believe that was Dale <laughs> that came up with that concept. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong. It's a great concept. I mean, it's something that you can use very, very, with ver a lot of versatility. It's something that you can use to damage just about anything uh, on the map. Um, I, you know, it's good, man. I didn't go for that one in particular. I think it was because I had something else going on that weekend. But, uh... Yeah, if I, if I could go back and do it, I would. The range is amazing. It's just an overall good bot, man. Alright, so let's see. Oh, I, I'm in the wrong class. I need to go full center twin. I maxed all these guys out earlier, too. The ones that I hadn't already which was most of them because I've done videos on most of these guys already. And then we got Viper. All right. So these are the... These are the bots that we got coming to 
Actually, that's two. Man, white. I'm missing one. So kickback, man, white. Iron bison. Oh, I never put Cyclonus in there, did I? That, and that's why I imagine a lot of you guys want them to get reworked to disrespect, right? And nor did I actually level them all the way up. Yeah, I got them Sunstrike. I said, it sucks because I didn't level them up. <laughs> but, um, like I said, I've done videos on him in the past. And it, it's kind of crazy because it looks like doing one of these uh, uh, updates, uh, and the level went down. But that's all right. We'll get him straight. I actually, so let's go talk about these guys. When I look at some of these bots. I'm going to go into zone 15. Uh, thanks for joining J Funk. Welcome to the Deceptor Lab. Now, since I ain't got him level up, I have to actually bring him back around for the next live stream. But one of the biggest complaints that people have about Cyclonus is dude, this targeting, honestly, it's a little bit off. So, because it's line damage, which honestly, line damage in that direction, I don't particularly have a problem with. But it's a combination of his line damage. And, you know, obviously this one's a little bit underpowered. Um, it is a bot that I, I consider to be kind of fun, though. <laughs> um, but, you know, people don't really mess with line damage like that, man. And, uh... I think in this case is somewhat justified. You know, if you got some clusters around, that's cool. But I kind of wonder, like, like for you guys that want to rework Cyclonus and Power Glide, what do you want them? What do you want them to do differently? Yo, King Grimlock just, he deadass just said that he could be level 100 and still suck. <laughs> he said he could be level 100. And the thing is, like, I, I, I think he's fun, but I just, I'm not going to roll him in like a top war or nothing like that, but I do think that, I, I, I I do like the line damage ability. I, I particularly like it when it's going up the battlefield as, as, a, as opposed to horizontally across the battlefield. So, I mean, well, I guess it depends on the situation. So I take that back, but it's not going to be too... Like, I understand why people want them. They want them to have a massive rework, but I was like, what would you actually do to Cyclonus? Because... You know, honestly, no, nah, it's 12, 12 bombs across. I mean, even at this level, he should be dealing probably more damage than that. And my good friend and playtest buddy, Jakeda's in there. And he says cluster bombs. He says that Power Glide needs to work like an actual A10. And look, so I worked on so for you guys who don't already know. <laughs> I said I'm in the United States Air Force. I've actually worked on A10s before and I actually got the same videos of what they can do. And I tell you what, if that guy performed like an actual A10, that would be amazing. <laughs> That will be beyond amazing. So, yeah. Yo. 
<laughs> Jay Funk says just have him fly around insulting the outpost bots. <laughs> Yo, that's that's crazy. So Alpha Tryon One says make is uh more of a local spread. I agree with that. And the thing is, a lot of times, man, and I can't get it to duplicate right now, but a lot of times it's targeting this off, so you'll target something and then wind up hitting something different. So I think that's got to be addressed. If they, but, it, but at this point, it looks like he's not going to win, so I guess it kind of doesn't matter right now. <laughs> So now I want to look at Viper because, so I got him at level 10. So I'm going to actually take a look at his stats here in a bit. But Viper, decent range. He's acid, you know. Um, but when I look at that corrosive airstrike, now I got him maxed out. I don't got him at level 11. I got him at level 10, right? So we'll look at that in a minute. But it's just that 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 damage is so underwhelming compared to other jets jets, which I think that's that's a simple fix. But I'm not con uh, I'm not sure if we want to go fix something else on him. Like the range is decent, not the best in the game, but it's decent. It's it's good. You know, you can spread the asset. You know, so you'll get an additional bit of damage for over five seconds. But yeah, it's it's pretty bland. And the other thing with that is, I want to say, if I remember correctly, Storm Clash being the Autobot counterpart, he's fire, isn't he? So they definitely got to fix any of these guys that are acid. And on on the Decepticon side and fire on the other side because, you know, as it has anti heal. Yo, y'all are tripping in the chat, bro. Highly classified says Power Glide is a passport, bro. Now, <laughs> I am rolling, bro. Ah, Michael Cooper, um, that was, Viper was the very first five-star he got. That's dope. Yeah, I want to say it's like Astro Train, I think, was mine. Some shit like that. And it was cool because, like, I actually, bro, I rocked with them for a long time in wars, too. So let's see. Oh, that's the other thing. They got to give him uh, ability 11. So that'll be, maybe that'll be the work they need to go force him into an ability 11. That's four plus two, man. Like, um, that's kind of high for what he does. Like, if he was doing more, I'd pay the four plus two. But I was like, I don't know if I have this bot, but I want to I want to look at something for context. So I got Waspman in there. But that's not who I want to look at. I wanted to look at let me go to the air class bots. Bro, that's at level 1. So I mean, it's already kind of proving my point. So I ain't, I got him at level I got blast off at level fifty four and at level one. Nah, I had to actually level him up, but I said I don't know, man, it just looks like it just looks like he's a little bit underpowered. Particularly and what really made me start to see him as underpowered is when I started looking at this dude. And that dude is, ooh, okay, um, 
Did I miss something? Yeah, this dude right here. So when I see when I see a four star bot with an ability eleven and without any cores, he's doing almost ten K of damage. Then I'm gonna look around and I'm gonna say, Hmm, I don't really now I'm not saying that Sky Warp should go into the batch. I'm not saying that because he's already good. We actually <laughs> had that conversation in play test when they first started Legacy Batch Project. And by the way, that's with him at private, I believe. He's not even got any ranks on him. Even though rank doesn't have anything to do with uh, the ability. But then I go look at that and I go look at Viper. And I was like, you know, I don't never use the U word. I'm not going to be like he's useless, but I'm I'm not using him. When I got better options. Jakeda says for Storm Clash and Viper, they could do a little quick, easy fix, give them a dual ability. Storm Clash gets an acid ability, Viper gets a fire ability, even Steven. That would be dope, first off, because then you can kind of use the two of those abilities together if you wanted to, or you could use it with another ability, uh, the co combo for the acid and fire combo thing that would be amazing so I have to agree with you there but then I look at the two guys in the middle man and those are actually my favorites of the batch I remember seeing uh, I think KG was saying earlier that Senna Twin had the most potential of the batch with I have to, which I'm inclined to agree I would love to see Senna Twin get his flowers um, dude, his time split grenade. Goodness gracious, Senate win and street was bro. So, bro, like if people actually like these types of abilities, we'll be we'll be saying that that was overpowered. Fifty percent faster for your allies, fifty percent slower for your for your ops. And then the effect lasts for 22 seconds. Dude, pick this man. <laughs> pick this man. Let's get him some a little health boost. You know, something like that. Um, maybe work on his path in a little bit so he doesn't get killed. Bro, is, this is... The, every time I look at it, I, I did a video on him. You know, it was like a few months ago. It was last year. And I just really enjoyed myself. And then I made like another video where I was just talking about like a all speed team where it was just like either speed up, slow down or something uh, along those lines. And man, talk about the most fun that I had playing the game and, you know, in quite some time. Man, this is amazing. That ability right there will get it done. Out of if this would have been. Something that I could have used in like a uh, Unicron League, I'd have been a lot better off because of the slowdown and the speed up, to be honest with you. But those abilities just aren't popular, and it's unfortunate because he should be winning this contest without a doubt. <laughs> he 100% should be winning this thing if people just like the bot but my fear is if I took this thing in the play test and then and and sent a twin one I'm concerned that he might not come back out with a speed up slow down ability because people don't like him and as a matter of fact I'm actually gonna flip over to another screen real quick because one of the other things that I've been looking at when I look at these things shout out to Jakeda who's in the chat because he was the one that actually made this and I don't know if he updated or not <laughs> but <laughs> I was talking about this last time and he had a list of all the different combiners and whatever and who the pieces are and I only wanted to talk about it for this for this particular set of bots because if we had if we had um, streetwise and uh, Senna Twin. So Streetwise would complete the Autobot Combiner Defensor. 
but Sinner Twin would be a combining piece for Abominus. But we would still have cutthroat and tracks that would need to go into the game. So my question is F Street Wise and Sinner Twin were to win into the, their way into the legacy batch or if Space Ape picked them and put into the legacy batch, would that force a cutthroat and tracks five star? So that both parties could, or would they use that as the bait to not add cutthroat and tracks, not add a five star abominus and defense or which to be honest, because they made God Neptune the five star first, any five star combining you make, unless it has a massive rework, which to be honest with you, I think that if they do a massive rework of one of these bots in the, um, and he happens to be a combiner piece. I think they should do a massive rework of the combiner also if he completes that combiner. So I got questions on how this works if they were to be the pick. But it's probably not going to happen. It's probably going to be Cosmos because, it's, honestly, it's probably a lot of players up there at the lower levels that are picking Cosmos and Mind Wipe. I mean, and primarily because they like them, they want to try to be annoying in the outpost. But the truth is, it's, it's very, very easy to just take them out. So they would have to address that. And, you know, he's single target hacking when you now got like Deluge, you now got, you know, you still got, um, you know, get Deluge and Beachcomb when you got. Blades and dirt. Shit, man. I mean, even with the G1, you got some more hacking from... Um, what's the dude called? You got more hacking from... The... Uh, I'm drawing a blank, man. Then set the con. Uh, bombshell. You got more coming from him than anyone else but I think the biggest thing is that this dude just sits there and, and hovers in the air like that on offense and defense and it, it gets him killed so I don't see the appeal of keeping him there I mean I suppose you could go use like amalgamous or something I mean I'm probably not but Bomb, yeah, yeah. You guys got always got my back. Bombshell and Perceptor. <laughs> and I agree with you, Esclahasi, for tracks and Cutthroat. They could leave their ability the same and just juice their numbers for them to be serviceable five star bots. That's what I always pictured. I don't know if that's what it will be. But I think it's time. I think they should have been did it, to be honest with you. But that's one of those once overpowered, always overpowered scenarios. So, so yeah, I do. I do actually. I think after I get off the stream, I do think I'm gonna cast my vote for Center Twin. And I've been seeing some of the comments, and I think there's a lot of people just think that, yeah, you know, people are just gonna go with the flow, whatever the community is voting. That's what's gonna happen. Um, but yep, do like, honestly, cast your vote, cast your vote for who you want. Don't look at who you think is going to win or lose. Just cast your vote. Now, now Iron Bison, Kill Bison, because Terror is watching and Lightspeed, they got a nice ability to, um, you can rush back. You know, you don't take a lot of, you don't really take damage doing that, uh, that rush. And, you know, you, you are going to cause a 70% speed reduction. Uh, but that duration is, it's not short, but it's shorter. Like when I was looking at 22 seconds at 50% for Center Twin, it's just more appealing to me. Now, granted, the cost is not bad. You know, at 3 plus 2. I might even drop it down. Well, 
you can't even say you drop it down to three plus one because I mean then you can spam it even more so than normal. But um, you know I do like Iron Bison a lot, and it was one of the more fun bots. But I just don't see that ability staying like that. If I don't see him staying like that, if we get to play test, if it, and 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 that's part of the legacy badge, I just don't see it. Fox the Bomb, one of my good friends and play, um, not play test, but one of my moderators, <laughs> joined the chat. Thanks for joining, and says he'd like to see a five star dirt bag. I agree, that would be dope. But you know, like for for this dude here, you know, he's got pretty average range. His health leaves some to be desired. Seventy percent of slowdown though is quite a bit, and it's something that you can use to kind of protect your whole team. So I'm not mad at I'm already spamming it. But it just gives you some time to just kind of, this gives you some time to plan. And it gives you some time to take down some defenses, especially when you get into, um, as you start to get into trouble a little bit. And Jakeda made an excellent point, and it's a point that I usually make when I get on the stream, so I'm going to make it since I'm still on stream. They need to hide the vote because people feel peer pressure. And the thing is, it's like, man, like, look at it, man. Like, look at, like, actual voting, you know, for, like, a public office and stuff. People, if they only got two parties, they'll look and say, hey, I don't want to lose. I'm going to vote for this dude and win because everybody else is doing it. I don't want to go vote for this oddball third party dude. Because then that means I'm going to lose. And they need to hide it. And I, I actually told them that last time. I said, you need to hide these things so we can actually see. So we, do, so we don't see, excuse me. And people will just vote their vote. The problem I think that comes with that is... The problem that comes with that is... A lot of people have started to distrust Space Eight, and they they'll come up with some crazy stuff, man. They'll be like, "Oh man, you know, this person wanted this bot." You know, they'll they'll blame just to start blaming people. They'll be like, "Oh man, you know, y'all did that bot because I liked them, or Waza liked them, or Tex liked them, or something like that." Something's not even really a thing, <laughs> but. So I'm just looking at, and I'm really just kind of just messing around because kickback, glass gas, and I said this a couple of months ago on a stream, glass gas should be a thing. Um, and it's not. It's something that people want to use in this case. And I think for him, it's primarily because he's a little bit too fragile. He doesn't do a whole lot on his own. I'm actually going to go run through his stats real quick. But he doesn't do much health-wise. He doesn't do much damage-wise. You know, he is there strictly for support, which could be a great thing. It's an amazing thing, honestly. I think glass gas is great. But when you're looking at kickback and when you're looking at cliff jumper, I mean, does it do enough to break into, not even like your war team, there's the break in the NA team. And so that could definitely use a rework. And honestly, if they still kept some of the glass gas element and just made them better, I would be totally on board for him winning it. But that's just not the case. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, and let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, and Candyman said the same thing that I said. That people will be like, "Oh, it was rigged when they when the bot they didn't want wins." And then Jakado says, "Hey, you can solve that by posting the entire results." But the thing is, people will people even trust the results? <laughs> Yo, these guys in there talking about vote for freeze twenty twenty four. Yeah, man, I am not built for that life. <laughs> That's the other thing, too, man. Like, I was looking up the, the, man, I'm going to keep it a band with you. Like, kickback and cliff jumpers ability 11 is kind of doo-doo for real. Like, if you are doing an ability that your goal is to support other bots and taking it out quickly why do you want to reduce the damage that's one thing if you're reducing speed or if you're reducing damage like kill bison or send a twin or something like that that's cool but you're saying hey i want to reduce the damage but i also want to increase the damage too and that's just that just weird to me so i don't know it they got to rework that too in my opinion if they, if kickback was to enter the legacy batch. And then last one I really didn't talk about, uh, I know this is Chris Harmon's boy, is Soundwave Hiss. And so here go the stats on Soundwave Hiss. So I, dude, I honestly thought that I had maxed him out to 70 earlier today, and I guess I did not. But, so the four-star version here. And, you know, this is one of those control bots. So, you know, if you want to have bots follow you, kind of like the Megatron and Optimus Prime effect, um, this will get it done. And then he also does some damage. And I think that was the key. Uh, last time, I think, Chris and I talked about this. The key thing for him was that they're doing damage you know, from the bot. Now, for me, when I look at, like, a control bot, and the reason why I don't want sound wave hiss is I just going to be very, very direct. The reason why I don't want sound wave hiss as the bot is because we got this lady right here. We already got Scylla. I just pulled Scylla. I'm going to level Scylla. And I'm going eventually in those situations use Scylla. So if Soundwave Hiss and Hound Vamp went into the batch, I'm probably not playing that event. Now at least not to try to go get that bot. I'm probably not playing that event very hard. Because I have Scylla. I ain't had Megatron, I went and got Scylla. You know, Ariel for you guys on the Autobot side. And it's cheap. So, I mean, at 4 plus 0, to be honest with you, when I did test this bot and use this bot heavily, like, I only needed to use it, like, twice. I ain't need to use it, like, 10 times or nothing. So, 4 plus 0, in the grand scheme of things, ain't shit. And you get the execute, and you get the G1. Well, the G1 is part of the execute thing, but... You know, you talking about a good team boost. Like, I can't look at the bot damage as high when the team boost is going to be high. I'm, I'm going to go with a overall team tactic standpoint with the highest damage is. Let's see. Oh, okay, Kristen says, my live account on Kickback says, ability 11 targets, take 40% extra damage and deal. Four. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what this one said, didn't it? Yeah, targets, deal, 40%. 
less damage. So yeah, that's what it's saying. But all right, guys, I think I'm going to call it a stream. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining. But yeah, um, by all means, go into my Discord, go into my Line app if you want to continue talking about these bots for the Legacy Batch or anything in general about the game. You know, I'm always around. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens this go around. So. Yeah, let me know what you think. Anyway, so next week, I'm probably going to have to make a change to my schedule. I'm most likely not going to be able to stream on Wednesday, so I might do like a Thursday or a Friday thing. I will let you guys know on Discord and on YouTube. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, let's, um, I will see you guys then. And I will also see you on the battlefield. Freezy is out.